second ayah is about shaitan. Because shaitan, kama akhraja bawaykum min al jannati, just like he got our father and our mother out of Jannah, now he wants us to stay out of Jannah. Now he wants us to stay out of Jannah. We're in dunya right now, but in the akhirah, he does not want us to go back to our own home. That is our home. That is the home that Allah made for us. That's why he says, Ula'ika humul walithun. They are going to inherit. Wiraha, inheritance, is when your father lived somewhere and you got it. That's when you get wiraha. Our father's home is in Jannah. Adam alayhi salam. Our mother's home is in Jannah. And we are going to get Jannah in Wiratha. We have to go back to our home. He does not want us to go back home. So what does he do? He uses the same attack that he used on Adam alayhi salam. The attack he used on Adam alayhi salam was greed. Do you remember all the trees? But he wants that one tree. And he says, Allah says, Ash-Shaytan, in the next ayah, he says, Ash-Shaytanu ya'idukum al Shaitan, in fact, he is the one promising you that you will become bankrupt. You will lose all your money. Every time somebody asks, give sadaqah, give charity, give a little bit, you start thinking, but what about the groceries? What about the electricity bill? What about the gas in the car? What about the university bills? You know, what about the doctor's bills? What about this? What about that? You start doing an entire budget in your head. You become an accountant. And you start thinking about every single expense. As soon as someone says, give for the sake of Allah, everyone becomes an accountant. But when you go to the store and you see, oh, I want to I wanna watch a movie. Oh, I can give some 10 ringgits and watch a movie. I can... You don't become an accountant. You don't say, what about the college? What about the groceries? What about the car? What about the gas? Ah, it's just a movie, not a big deal. Let's just go. So when does it become a big deal? When you're about to give for the sake of Allah. When you're about to have a titarik, you know, when you're about to have some extra food, when you're about to go, you don't think, you just do it. You just do it. So why is it that all of a sudden you become so responsible when it comes to spending in the sake of Allah? Why? Allah tells you, الشيطان يعدكم الفقر Those thoughts did not come from you. Those thoughts came from shaitan.